Hello, my name is Andrew. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about the thing I experienced in my life most commonly with bullying, which is what I would call um, emotionally abusive friendships, where, I mean, I experienced it in elementary school, middle school, and high school. I mean, I had friends that I bullied. I had friends that bullied me. Uh, it's really weird, and it sucks, but... Now that 10 years have gone by since high school, looking back on it, um, the advice I would give a kid in that situation, like a target, would be to find true friends. Because most of the time, it's not even worth it. Like, I know when I got rid of people in my life, it was a good thing. And you kind of have to diagnose that situation for yourself and see if the person is, you know, how much positivity are they bringing into your life and how much, how much negativity. If it's more on the negative side, then get them out of your life and find people who are actually nice to you and make you feel good about yourself. That's what friends are supposed to do. It's not supposed to, they're not supposed to make you angry or fearful or anything. Um, but I know that that's tough advice for, for young people, for you know high schoolers, middle schoolers, because your friends are like your lifeline. You can, you can't always just bail on them. So if if that isn't an option for you, then I would say just call them out. <laughs> Just be confident and just call them out to their face. Be like, I mean, is it, if, it, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, that's one thing. Or, I mean, well, first of all, if it's if you're in a group and everyone just picks on you, then I would just try to get out of that because that's, that's just no good. They're not your friends if they're all picking on you. That's not fair at all. You need to get out of that. But if it's like more of a one-on-one -on -one thing, which is what I experienced, um, I would say just call them out. Just be like... Do you feel the need to constantly push do you feel the need to constantly put me down to make yourself feel better as that was going on here and then that might shock them because I mean people that age don't necessarily know to think like that I know I sure didn't but that's usually what's going on most of the time they're putting you down to make them feel better about themselves slash or <laughs> they are just jealous of you which could definitely be the case, but you just might not realize that you might not have that perspective yet because you're only in high school or whatever it is. So uh, that would be my advice. That's the thing I've felt comfortable talking about because that's the one I experienced the most. So thanks.